So in in textbook and in class, you all learned at one point in time, right? You learned that the auxiliary buds will come out at those cotyledonary nodes and above. Any of the nodes above that. So while the while the rabbits and the ground squirrels chew that off, they're growing. They're regrowing out of those auxiliary buds. And so give these another four weeks and you will not be able to tell the difference, you know, without really looking down there. You won't be able to tell this soybean apart from one that did not have it. Get in there right at emergence or right after planting, you get a couple zeros, and then you'll have a sense, if you're sampling over time, how quickly numbers are going up or down. Or maybe they're going up, down, up. Could be any situation. And so I want to get in there every seven to 10 days. That would be the entomologist gold standard. That seems like probably a real crazy ask, because I realize you guys have probably 10 different jobs. It's more than just scouting insects. Probably multiple fields, multiple clients, or your family, friends, spread out over a couple different counties in some situations. It's really hard. What I know about insects is that their population changes very quickly, especially those with really short life cycles. So every seven to 10 days gives you the most accurate way to measure their density fluctuation.